Dear users, this video introduces TB series lifters lifting failures and troubleshooting methods, non-lifting or slow lifting issues. Start the machine. Manipulate the lifter's control handle. If the agricultural machinery cannot lift or lift slowly, you must analyze the failure immediately and clear it. Causes to be considered. When checked from the outside to the inside, check the oil volume first, then check if the gear pump works properly, if the oil suction filter is blocked, etc. 2. Check if it is caused by the leakage due to block or wear of the cylinder seals, the main internal control valve of the distributor or the return valve. 1. Home machine external failure. 1. Check the hydraulic fluid level of the lifter. Check if the hydraulic fluid level is between the upper and the lower scale mark. If the oil level is low, Add hydraulic fluid of the same grade. 2. Gear pump failure. When the whole machine is in an idle working state. 2.1. If it is a multi-channel valve configuration model. Manipulate the multi-channel valve handle and listen carefully if there is any change in the idle speed of the engine. If there is change in the speed, it means that the gear pump works properly. Otherwise, there is a problem with the gear pump. 2.2 Non-multi-channel valve configuration model. Push the cutoff valve of the lifter to the end. Manipulate the lifter's handle to have it in the lifting process. Listen if there is obvious change in the idle speed of the engine. If there is a change in the speed, it means that the gear pump works properly. Otherwise, there is a problem with the gear pump. 3. Check if the hydraulic fluid filter cartridge is blocked. Remove the hydraulic fluid suction filter cover. Take out the hydraulic fluid filter cartridge. Clean the filter cartridge with diesel or kerosene. Meanwhile, check if the hydraulic fluid is clean. If not, replace it with the new hydraulic fluid. 2. Force and position adjustment lever failure. Remove the upper cover of the lifter. Manipulate the lifter's integrated force control handle. Check if all components of the force adjustment work properly. Especially check if the force return spring works properly. If not, maintain or replace it in time. If the launching gap does not meet the requirements, adjust it as required. Adjustment method. First, manipulate the lifter's integrated force control handle to the highest position, and then raise the lift arm to the highest position. Check if there is a 4 mm space between the inner surface of the back shell of the lifter and the inner lift arm. At this point, a 60 degree angle is formed between the lift arm and the low plane of the lifter shell. 1. Loosen the locking bolt of the cam. Position adjustment cam is away from the main control valve. Adjust the length of the force adjustment push rod. Adjust the interval to be 1.5 mm between the control end of the force adjustment lever and the end face of the main control valve. After completing the adjustment, lock the nut tightly. 2. The control end of the position adjustment lever contacts the outermost end of the main control valve. Turn the cam clockwise until the position adjustment control end pushes the main control valve to the center position. The main control valve moves 5 mm from the outermost end towards inside. At this point, the distance is 6.5 mm between the control end of the force adjustment lever and the end face of the main control valve. Finally, lock tightly the fixing bolt of the position adjustment cam. After completing the force and position control adjustment, start the machine to test if the adjustment is okay. 3. 
distributor component failures. First, have the hydraulic fluid level of the lifter fall at the center of the main control valve. 3.1 Main Control Valve Failure Manipulate the lifter's control handle. Check if the main control valve moves back and forth along with the control handle. If the main control valve moves back and forth flexibly, it means that the main control valve works properly. If the main control valve makes no running, it means that the valve is blocked and it needs to be cleaned or replaced. 3.2 Return Valve Failure Start the machine. Manipulate the handle to start lifting and stop it. After the O-ring is damaged, the front end of the return valve will leak. Or if the return valve is badly worn, an internal leakage will be caused, in which situation, the return valve must be removed for check and cleaned. 3.3 Safety Valve Failure Start the machine. Manipulate the handle to start lifting and stop it. Check the safety valve to see if there is oil leak. If there is oil leak, it means that the safety valve is blocked and the ceiling is not tight. Replace it with a new safety valve assembly in the absence of the professional pressure gauge. 3.4 Cleaning of the main control valve and the return valve. Disassemble the main control valve and the valve clean. Disassemble the return valve. Clean the main control valve and the valve sleeve with diesel or kerosene. After cleaning, test and install the main control valve and the valve sleeve for several times to make sure that there is no block. If it's too loose for installation, it means that the main control valve is badly worn, and all parts must be replaced. Meanwhile, clean the sealing parts of the return valve. Install the return valve and the main control valve components. Resume the distributor assembly. Test if the main control valve works properly. 4. Static Settlement Failure Lift the agricultural machinery to the highest position. 1. Tighten the cutoff valve. Check if there is any static settlement issue with the agricultural machinery. If yes, it means that the piston sealing is damaged, and the internal seal must be replaced. If no, it means that the piston sealing works properly. 2. Open the cutoff valve. If there is a static settlement issue, it means that there is internal leakage in the check valve of the distributor and the main control valve. Remove the main control valve and the check valve. Check and clean them. If there isn't any static settlement issue, it means that the internal parts of the distributor work properly. Troubleshooting methods for lifters non-lifting or slow lifting issues 1. Lack of oil, blocked oil suction filter and damaged gear pump 2. Damaged cylinder seals, blocked or worn main control valve and return valve, failed safety valve 3. Oil leak in the sealing ring of the distributor 4. Force, position adjustment lever failure. Maintenance must be carried out in daily use. 1. Check the hydraulic fluid dipstick before operation and replenish the oil in time. 2. Regularly replace the hydraulic fluid as required. 3. If the control handle is blocked. Do no force it to work, instead, clear the failure in time. 4. If lacking experience in maintenance, contact the local distributor.